Hello and welcome everyone, this is Kalabovich coming to you with another Storybook Brawl video about the new patch that has come up recently and that is in the last 12 hours. In the patch 6.7.5 the developers have done several changes and all of them make sense, so let's go through them. Because the first one is the biggest one, balance change for Great Pumpkin King. Getting it back to level 6 to a 10-10 instead of being level 5. So the old pumpkin patch is out. And the reasoning for this is really solid. So let me, let me just read to you what the developers said. The pumpkin change was an experiment that we knew we may have to pull back on. And that's exactly what we're doing. Okay. Uh, and then the, the rest of the explanation is that uh, the fights right now are too fast, etc. Uh, but uh, what what they are actually saying it makes me makes me wonder and makes me want to re revisit my thoughts about the change uh, about the initial change from six to five, and that was um, that change in the previous patch was something I was most uncertain of after I started playing with it with the changes. It was the change I did not like the most. Um, but over time, I, I was okay with it, kind of, sort of, even though everyone and their grandfather was on, was on evil characters with Great Pumpkin King at the, well, not really top end, but somewhere near the end. And I was playing a lot of Great Pumpkin King before its patch to glory to level 5. But... The design philosophy behind what they did, not only the change from 6 to 5, but uh, the lack of fear to pull it back after a very short time, is something, something really commendable. They are not afraid to experiment, and that is a good thing. I'd much rather have experienced a pumpkin patch, aka pumpkin being down to level 5, and then this being reverted as a, maybe this wasn't such a good change, the reasoning behind the re revert, uh, then never having experienced it at all. Seriously. A lot of changes, a lot of possibilities, a lot of alternate realities. This was the most evil alternate reality, probably. Uh, but still, I uh, now that the revert is here, I like the change to 5 that much more, if you catch my philosophical drift. Anyway, that's not the only change. Princess White, uh, instead of giving dwarves in your shop plus one, plus two, now gives them plus one, plus one. Uh, the stat gain they thought was a bit too much. And yeah, I mean, it was like you had a level two treasure fairy tale, but upgraded. Uh, and if Princess White got upgraded, it was plus two, plus four, which is which was a huge change, especially for doublies and then triplies. And uh, a lot of sources that I've talked to said that not only uh, not only were evil uh, evil comps predominant in the uh, previous patch, but also dwarves were running rampant, and that was also what I have been seeing. So um, this does not nuke Princess White out of the orbit. She's still fine. She still can just warm the bench, um, um, but she is not so obscene, OP, etc. So once again, change that I do like. Monkey's paw change from plus six plus six to plus five plus five. And yes, I do agree. It was pushed. It has been pushed for too long. For too long has it been pushed. Uh, right now, it is just a uh, worse version of the level seven treasure fairy queens want, obviously. Uh, but still, the total stat gain of 30 30 instead of 36 36 is huge. And it is more than comparable to uh, Sword of Fire and Ice. It is great for all summon builds. It was obviously insane with Pumpkin King, who could have also gotten it from level 5. Uh, and uh, the high rolls of Horde Dragon getting a monkey spawn on 2.1 or 2.2 were just too too big to, uh, to, go, uh, to, to get through, to go around. So... Yes, I do like this change. This does, does not obliterate the treasure out of the orbit. Just puts it a bit more in line with the other treasures. Merlin, finally, finally, it happens. My number one hero, as far as my ranking list uh, lists go, got a nerf. 
I mean, it's the second nerf we got to Merlin. The first one, do, do you remember where this used to be plus two, plus two near the beginnings of the game? Well, uh, right now the plus two, plus one uh, buff to a random character each time you cast a spell goes down a notch to plus one, plus one. And it is still huge. I mean, it, it still makes Merlin a great character. It still makes him probably somewhere in the top five or top ten of, uh, sorry, hero, not character, in top five or top ten heroes in the game for me. I don't know where. I would have to play him a bit uh, to to learn uh, or to place him. But yes, he was uh, he was obscenely powerful. He still is powerful. I mean, there are at least a couple. Uh, treasures named after him with maybe more, even more coming so yeah still still a pretty insane mage not only in mage builds not only in hatball builds i mean this is a stat based hero so the stat gain here is still going to be more than fine uh, horde dragon going down from 45 health to 40 health this is actually something i was talking about uh, a lot during my recent streams uh, where um well let me back up a bit for a bit of history so horde dragon used to be what it is now so it's kind of another revert uh it used to be 40 and it was not he was not picked people knew that this was one of the highest variance heroes in the game because if you got a treasure you were more than good because it was one level higher than usual uh if you didn't get any treasures there was no hero power to talk of. It was not even just a plus one, plus one randomly on a character or another. Um, so at one point, the developers upped the health of some heroes by five. So Horde Dragon got five health there and then. And more people started playing him. And more people were successful with Horde Dragon. I mean, right now, from what I remember, it is my number two or three hero. Yes, number three hero before the patch. So number one and number three got nerfed. Wonder Waddle still <laughs> waddling free. Uh, but it's a couple of things put together. The game, the game is not as insanely fast uh, exping to level six with, uh, with uh, Turkish Delight not giving you health, with uh, the end being one level higher. I mean, you can only see it on level four with uh, adventure not being in the game with right now pumpkins and dwarves not being as predominant and horde dragon is still amazing and doesn't need that five health it can stabilize rather easily all with each and every nerf to each and every other hero and kind of character and the game kind of slowing down horde dragon becomes much more powerful because he is the one he is the one true hero that has the easiest access to level seven treasures and those are really those can really dominate the game. So, uh, yeah, I, I do think this was a necessary change. This is still one of top five heroes for me. Um, so, yeah, uh, the other change, the last change, is King Midas gaining five health. And yes, this is a second buff to King Midas already. First, they gave him the ability to get questing characters and those, for those to give treasures. And right now, uh, five more health. So you can stabilize a bit more. I think I still think people uh, have not learned to play King Midas, as for example, in my previous story, they had learned uh, to play Horde Dragon in the past. So it's a matter of time before King Midas probably gets reverted down to 40 again, uh, because that ability is great and amazing. And I mean, you, you can get Crystal Ball on three and you can get Aeon on five. Uh, which is not a treasure, and maybe you can even get a level 7 treasure uh, or a level 6 treasure, something like a Wand of Weirding or a, or a Black Prism, and still you can go for mages. It is much more difficult, but it is doable. So right now, King Midas, I think I just I should just play him more. He goes up, up, and up. Uh, right now he is at around number 20, so this should bring him up a couple of points, up to like 15th hero, so in the top half at, at the very least. Okay, so all these changes, all one, two, three, four, five, six changes, they were good, they were necessary. Maybe the King Midas change was not necessary, uh, but uh, they are saying King Midas is, is lacking a little punch. Um, 
So yeah, maybe maybe it was necessary. Maybe it is necessary. Uh, also, um, pushing server hotfixes for networking issues and a bug fix that Grim Souls Last Breath uh, can no longer target a Braid Princess whose quest has already been had already been completed. I think I was subject to that bug once or twice already. Uh, but yeah, I I adore the fact that the developers have done this change outside of their current schedule of one one patch per month, give or take. Uh, just to address their experiment of Great Pumpkin patch. Um, so yeah. Um, also, given that this patch is a bit out of um, out of the usual current timeline for the development of the game, the next uh, several Storybook Brawl Tech videos you're going to see on this channel are going to be pre pre patch pre this patch. So Pumpkin is probably still be going uh, and running rampant. Uh, but the, these are still games I think you will enjoy. And I do hope you are still enjoying the game and the content I am putting out for it. And if you are, please remember to click on subscribe. Thank you, have a great day, and see you in Storybook Brawl.